This is the StarQuest Headlines 2-Minute Update for June 26, 2018. Brought to you by sqpn.com, where faith meets pop culture. I'm Don Bettinelli. 15-year-old Clara Daly was on a flight from Boston to Portland, Oregon last week when an unusual opportunity arose. Another passenger on the flight named Tim Cook was deaf and blind and was flying unaccompanied. The flight attendants were having trouble communicating with him, so they asked for anyone who spoke American Sign Language. Clara had studied ASL as a second language for school and volunteered to spend the rest of the flight signing into Tim's hand. The whole beautiful encounter, plus photos, was captured by fellow passengers and posted online. You can see more of the heartwarming story by clicking the link on our show notes on sqpn.com. We're learning more about Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, the new land coming to Disney World and Disneyland in 2019. One ride will involve full-size AT-ATs now being constructed and another, the resistance transport we saw in Last Jedi. You can expect to see Lothcats from the animated Star Wars Rebels show created in a lifelike form that you can interact with. The name of the town depicted will be called Black Spire Outpost on the planet Batu, and we'll see some familiar secondary characters like Nia Nub, Lando's co-pilot on the second Death Star run from Return of the Jedi, and Hondo Onaka, the weak way pirate from the animated Star Wars series. Oh, and The Last Jedi is now streaming on Netflix, in case you didn't know. 20th Century Fox is gearing up for San Diego Comic-Con next month with news about a full slate of shows. We can expect to hear about their new series, The Passage, which is about a dangerous virus that will either cure all disease or wipe out humanity, and Mayans MC, a spin-off of the Sons of Anarchy show. And we'll also get to hear about the second seasons of both the X-Men-related The Gifted and the Star Trek parody The Orville. As we get closer to Comic-Con, expect to see more news to ramp up. What would an Indiana Jones-style Doctor Who have been like? Former Who producer Philip Hinchcliffe revealed in an interview recently that before he left the show in 1977, he had been developing plans to take the fourth Doctor, Tom Baker, in a new direction for its 15th season, making the Doctor more like an explorer in the mold of Indiana Jones. Except four years before Raiders of the Lost Ark would hit the movie screens. Hinchcliffe noted that during his time, his stories tended to have a more gothic feel, and he was hoping to move in a new direction. But the change in producers interrupted that plan. And that's the StarQuest headline update. Find links to the stories and be sure to subscribe for our updates every weekday at sqpn.com. I'm Don Bettinelli.